Hey everybody, this is Gretchen VSG for me. You're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2016, and I'm your Tuesday vlogger. The question this week is, what will you create for yourself and your weight loss surgery health in the second half of 2016? Why does this matter? How will you get there? And what kind of support will you need? Well, the first half of 2016 has been pretty comfortable. Um, I'm kind of going through the motions of maintenance. I'm maintaining about 130 pound loss. I have not weighed myself in about three weeks due to changes in my schedule and company. Um, so for the second half of 2016, I plan to stay consistent in terms of tracking my food, making exercise a priority, not just doing it because I feel like I have to. Um, what I need to get there is you guys. I need to stay accountable. I think being a part of Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works will help with that. Um, I need to keep drinking my water, keep plugging along. This is a lifelong journey. Once you hit maintenance, it only gets harder, I think. Um, you lose the weight and that's the honeymoon period. You see the big losses. And in, in this stage of the game, you know, I'm going on almost um, 15, 16 months post-op, 17 almost, um, I don't want to become complacent. And it's very easy to do that. When you can play with your food choices, um, you know, test the waters with alcohol, change up what you're eating, reintroduce things that are not that great for you, it's very easy to play the game of it won't hurt me this time. And getting those bad habits back in are one thing that I feared the most. Um, I've already tested the waters with chips and alcohol and the lack of exercise and I've, oh, I'm okay so far. But I think the idea of that becoming normal again, it's what I got me in that situation in the first place. And I don't want to be one of those people who, you know, three, four, five years down the line are coming to you and I'm struggling with a 30 pound regain. Um, I've said this before in my own videos that I've been told by several people that I could stand to gain 15 pounds and I'd still be in an okay range. I'm tall. That's to my advantage. Um, I'm not the same in terms of body mechanics as anybody else. Everybody is so individual. So I think it's easy for people to spew out that kind of information and statistics and things like that. But that doesn't mean that I'll be comfortable. What I thought was my goal weight was something I picked out of a hat pretty randomly. So I'd like to maintain where I am. It is lower than I thought I'd ever be. It's my lowest adult weight. I can't recall being this weight or clothing size in I would say any time in my adult life, let alone um, high school, maybe when I was about 14 I was like this, I, I don't remember. Um, and if I was, it wasn't that significant. It's pretty significant now to have a five-year-old and for her to keep up with me. So I want to keep that momentum going, keep accountable, keep using my fitness pal, you know, get out of my comfort zone is something I think I want to do. I plan to do a 5k hopefully with my daughter in September, probably a color run. Um, you know, keep testing the waters. I don't want to get, become comfortable and I feel that's getting kind of close. Um, in terms of what I want to create for myself, I think I just want to keep being the best me that I can be. I know it sounds pretty cliche and you guys who watch our videos uh, weekly and try to see what's new with us kind of hear the same repetitive stats and um, you know information about food and exercise but that's what helps us keep accountable is to think about those people that are watching and you know you don't want somebody who's new to the game checking in or finding your video and saying oh they they got comfortable they you know they they did what they needed to do and now they're I don't know. I feel like I get on these tangents. Is this making sense to anybody? Um, these videos help me. 
it helps me checking in with my friends who are making videos again, even though they're two years, three years out. Accountability is huge. And if you're not honest with yourself, you'll let things like a snack get by that really you shouldn't have had or you don't track. The best thing you can do is to track your food and really track everything. If it passes your lips, write it down. Even if you draw it in a notebook, it doesn't have to be an app. Um, I hope everybody has a great week and thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Bye.